is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we're bringing you a very interesting kind of video. Uh, this is one of my sort of how-to kind of videos when we make something and I show you guys how I've done something. So anyways, this video all started because of YBW's Aaron Blaze. Aaron Blaze commented on my video, how'd you make them IC title side plates? So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Now, if you aren't already familiar, this is the JTW Intercontinental Championship. Current champion is Jack Sykes after putting Zach on the shelf by breaking his ankle. Oh my god! Zach Rose's ankle just got broken in two! I'll get you back for that. But anyways, um, what we mean by this is this championship's evolved quite a bit over the last couple of years. Um, when we first used it, it literally was just a WWE replica. That's all it was. Um, WWE logos, everything's still on there. Then next up, I literally put a little JTW logo on the top, just literally got a pen and wrote JTW, and then got some paper side plates with trampolines on and put them on these two. Um, after that, I got some gold card and literally same JTW and just covered up the WWE logos with plain gold card, which is still underneath. It was only recently when Zach won the championship from me, I thought this whole title needs a whole overhaul um let's make it something that's cool uh, i hated seeing just some ruined paper jtw at the top that was literally colored in with pen and for those of you that know me you know that i am very um like if i make something i want it to be the best i can possibly make it so i'm rambling on a bit because i sort of have to um we're talking about this championship this isn't a side plates don't come on these kinds of belts that's what i'm trying to say is you can't make side plates for this championship normally, uh, this belt in particular, because it doesn't have side plates. It does, there's two, but not interchangeable ones. It's literally just WWE logos underneath here. So I think the best option now is probably for me to take you over to my bed and I'll show you the championship in its glory, how I've upgraded it, and then we'll get into the side plates. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is the JTW Intercontinental Championship. Once again, this is a commemorative WWE Intercontinental Championship 2014 replica belt. That's what it started out as. Uh, now it's developed into its own custom JTW title. So the main center, uh, center focus of this video is the interchangeable side plates. Um, this was an idea that was brought to me literally, I don't even know, a few months back. I thought, why not? Um, obviously, the Intercontinental Championship is going to be featured regularly now because of the Zach Rowe Open Challenge, although he's recently just lost the title. Um, I figured we need something that distinguishes this title, f like, it shows who the champion is. This is what the one gripe I had with this belt in real life. There is no nameplate or anything. Uh, it's a bit like the tag belts. There's nothing on the title to show who the champion is, and I didn't like that. Um, so, I added the custom side plates. Now, everything you see added on this title is literally paper and blue tack. Uh, yes, I had to use Photoshop to make everything the right size, uh, especially this. You can see this is all paper, but it fits in p absolutely perfectly. Um, this one's pretty close as well on the, um, on the logo plate. But this is all just paper. I didn't want to make any permanent changes to my championship because what if, I doubt it, I doubt I ever will, but what if one day, you know, I want to turn it back into a WWE belt. This belt's retired on WWE TV now, so I don't think that's ever going to happen. But I'm still not going to throw any paint on it or sculpt on it or anything because I just want it to keep it how it is. Um, so, essentially, I wanted to add something in the gold bits. Um, if you look at the most recent Anthony's Open Challenges videos um, where I had the title, especially the one where I dropped it to Zach, I believe episode 19, I could be wrong on that. These are literally just all gold on these sides. They're literally, you can see the gold card right here. This is just all gold underneath. And I thought, no, we need to add something to the side plates. Um, like, it's no good having all, like, just literally plain flat gold on a belt. It looks terrible. Um, so what I did was I got creative with it. Decided that on the bigger ones, we'll have the custom side plates. And then I got two YouTube play buttons um, facing each other. So the arrow, this is the correct one. And then the arrow pointing inwards on this. And I tried to match that blue up as best as I could with that blue. Uh, it's a little bit off, but with paper, you can't really do too much. So yeah, that's the current JTW Intercontinental Championship. Now I'm going to show you how I make the side plates. But first, let's look at some of the side plates I already have made. 
Let's go. Okay, so here are the side plates I have currently for the JTW Intercontinental Championship. Now, if you've ever featured on my show and been a former champion, there's only one former champion I haven't made plates for because, you know, we're not on talking terms anymore. Um, but if you're on the current roster or you've had a um, an actual chance at the title or an actual title reign, then I've made a set of side plates for them. Um, these do vary in size, some of them, just because I got a bit sloppy with the, you know, cutting out process. I did all of these in one day, so it got a bit, like, you know, a bit annoying after a while. So, obviously, at the top three, you see Bad B, who's a former champion, me, former champion, Zach, only just lost the championship. Now, the majority of these side plates you're most likely never going to see, because a lot of these guys aren't going to compete again. For example... Um, we've got Harris Groom over here. If you don't remember Danny McCarthy or Harris Groom, they were both in the rivalry rumble. Uh, I just made these because, you know, why not? Once again, I got bored. We're in, we're in quarantine. So, uh, yeah, Malasalto side plates. If you're most likely not going to get featured on the belt, I'm not going to add any gold to it. Um, I just thought, you know, it's not worth it. JD Bailey, for example, he's got a cool set of side plates. Um, even Panda. The likelihood of this absolute idiot ever winning the championship is very slim but i thought why not i'll make him a set of side plates anyway um now a lot of you may be thinking there's only one here it's not they are double-sided they are blue tacked onto each other that's how they're on there um so literally every single one there is two of them they are just blue tacked on so that's the current side plates i have now i'm finally going to get into showing you how i get it done let's go now just like the majority of things that I make, uh, it starts out all on Photoshop. So I start on Photoshop. Now, what I actually did initially to get the sizing right for the Intercontinental Championship was I took a photo of my belt, um, cropped out the side plate, um, put it to size and using Photoshop, then made it a bit smaller so it sort of fits with like a, an equal border around each side. Now, once I had that template, I was good to go. I've got that template now for every single one. So that's when I started getting into the designing of them. We're going to go to back camera quickly and I'll show you how Jack Sykes' side plates initially started out. So this is what Jack Sykes' side plates were. It's literally just on Photoshop, as you can see. Um, and that's all they were. I literally wrote it down, cool font, uh, Jack Sykes, I emailed it over to myself onto the downstairs computer and then printed it off from there. It's nice and simple. However, for the sake of this video, we're going to be making some side plates for mum. Um, and this is interesting. The likelihood of mum ever winning the Intercontinental Championship is very, very, very slim. You're more likely to see me cut my hair off. Um, however, we're going to do it anyway because she is going to feature in a match against me today. So I figured why not? Um, if she's on the roster, you might as well make her a set of side plates. So what the base idea for this is going to be, I had, was all of the white you see is going to be gold. I'm just doing it in white because it doesn't use as much ink when I'm printing it off. So the main idea for these side plates is to literally have a gold heart with black mum writing in the middle. That's all it is. Let's move downstairs and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, guys, so let's get into what we actually need. Now, the majority of this stuff is household items. Scissors, paper, blue tack, a printer, a computer, etc. Um, the only thing that you're going to need if you want to make these look really good, um, the thing that you might not have in your house, is gold card. Now, believe it or not, this started out as an A4 piece of gold card, but as I was making side plates, this is all I've got left. And I'm not going to order any new ones um, because I should be able to get these done uh, these set side plates done just on this bit alone uh, and if not then no big deal but hopefully I can so with that being said I've already printed off the mum side plates here we are they size up perfectly uh, I've once again I've already got the template on my computer so it sizes up well all I've got to do is cut it out and then we get to work on cutting out this um, and there's a certain way to do that that makes it really easy so let's get right into it Okay, so next up is the part to easily get uh, this design onto the gold, um, and it's perfect. So a lot of you may be thinking, did he do this freehand? No. Uh, well, technically, yes. So all I do is I grab a pencil, I put the logo uh, on the side plate, I put that on the gold card, and then I literally, really, not hard, uh, not fast, but really hard, just literally go round slowly, 
on the design all the way around. Because what this does is this creates little indentations in the actual gold card itself, which makes it obviously easy to follow when you're cutting out. You just have to try and keep the paper as still as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack on with doing both of these and you can see the results once it's done. Let's go. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I've got this perfectly uh, traced, I guess you could say. Here's all the indentations. Now all I need to do is cut the heart out. For this side plate design, it's gonna be very pretty much exactly the same as this. Um, so all I'm gonna do is keep the gold heart, but just sharpie in the black lettering. And look, you can see me in the card, hello. <laughs> but yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so here they are, both of them cut out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sharpie them, and then all that's left to do is to blue tack them over the actual side plate. Now as you can see, as I cut the design out, it is slightly short off the line, uh, so with that is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. All I'll do is go around with a black sharpie to cover up the white, so let's get right into it. Okay, so here's what it looks like coloured in, and it's literally just Sharpie, uh, exactly the same as the Jack Sykes side plate. I don't know if you can really see from this angle. That's just Sharpie as well. Uh, so these are literally just Sharpied on. I've gone over with a, um, a black Sharpie around the outline as well. Might need to do it again, uh, but then we're literally just gonna blue tack that on, and then the side plate is complete. Let's get into it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. In my hands, I have the completed mum side plates for the JTW Intercontinental Championship. If the camera flips it, then uh, it should read mum. Um, and if the camera flips this one as well, it should also read mum. Um, so these are really cool and they fit on the Intercontinental Championship. As you can see, guys, these are so easy to make. I literally, I did this in about 15 minutes, um, all in all from the printing stage to the cutting and stuff. When you do individual letters, that's when it gets hard work. So for example, as you saw earlier in the video, the JD Bailey side plates, I had to cut out all of them individual letters and try and keep the font style that it was initially in. That's when it gets hard. Uh, but other than that, these are nice and simple. Nice and simple design. I weren't gonna go over the top because she's never gonna win the belt. Um, so there's only two more things to do now. One, put it on the championship. And two, you might as well see what it's like on her, eh? Let's look what they're like on the belt. Here we are, JTW Intercontinental Championship with mum side plates. And as you can see guys, the gold blends in perfectly. Uh, and obviously this is just blue tacked on. They're just literally blue tacked on the uh, the Jack Sykes side plates because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take them off. They're not gonna be on here long. So yeah, there you go. That's how you make the side plates. And um, we might as well check it on mum. Let's go, I said we would. Let's do it, why not? Do you like your side plates? Have a look at them. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Love the hearts. Are you gonna take them? Are you gonna take that belt from Jack Sykes? Of course I am. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we make the custom side plates for the JTW Intercontinental Championship. You can do this at home. Obviously, it doesn't have to be for this exact championship. Any title. Uh, whether you, whatever title you use in your backyard promotion, in your, or not even, you don't even have to be a backyard promotion. If you've got a championship and you want to customize it, you can use this method to add some custom side plates to a title uh, that doesn't have side plates normally, which is really cool in my opinion. But yeah, Jack Sykes is Intercontinental Championship right here. Um, and yeah, cool side plates. We made some mum side plates. Hopefully this video helps some of you out. If not, and you're just intrigued on how I did it, Hopefully you've got the result you wanted. But I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.